This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stick around to see how Squarespace can help you build your own beautifully designed website or online store with ease. Season 1 of Hunters opens in 1977 and introduces the young mathematics genius slash low-level drug dealer Jonah Heidelbaum. When Jonah's grandmother Ruth is murdered in her home, Jonah vows to take vengeance. While sitting Shiva for Ruth, Jonah meets his grandmother's mysterious old friend, Meyer Offerman. After hearing stories of Ruth's past, Jonah is able to use clues from Meyer's home to discover that his grandmother's killer was a Nazi named Richter, who had murdered Ruth's younger sister while serving as a guard at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Jonah tracks down Richter, but is quickly subdued by the murderous Nazi. Fortunately, Meyer arrives, killing Richter and saving Jonah's life. Impressed by Jonah's skill, Meyer brings him into a secretive group known as the Hunters, whose goal was to eradicate escaped Nazi officers still conspiring to create a Fourth Reich in the United States. Other members of the Hunters include the husband and wife duo of Murray and Mindy Markowitz, who specialize in electronics and signals, actor and disguise expert Lonnie Flash, forgery expert Roxy Jones, combat expert Joe Mizushima, and former MI6 operative Sister Harriet. Ruth had been a major member of the Hunters before her death, but the fellow members have serious concerns over what Jonah can possibly add to their group. The Hunters violently track down the Nazis, leaving a trail of dead bodies in their wake. Eventually, they discover that a secret organization of Nazis were secretly behind many tragic events in America's history, including the Watergate scandal and the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy. Jonah makes some discoveries of his own, namely that his grandmother Ruth had developed a romance with Meyer while they were prisoners together in Auschwitz, and that Meyer was in fact his grandfather. Their relationship was fractured when a Nazi doctor known as the Wolf cruelly forced Meyer to make a choice, murder 11 innocent prisoners or witness Ruth's execution. Meyer chose to save his love, but she could never forgive him. Meanwhile, the secret Nazi Fourth Reich movement is being led by a mysterious woman known only as the Colonel. One of the Colonel's most loyal acolytes is the American-born neo-Nazi Travis Leach. Travis is tasked with hunting the Hunters, preventing them from thwarting the Fourth Reich's plans. The Fourth Reich have also secretly infiltrated the U.S. government, with undercover Nazi Biff Simpson acting as Undersecretary of State. Biff's sinister allegiance is eventually discovered, and he is forced to go on the run. As the Hunters continue their bloody battle against the Fourth Reich, FBI agent Millie Morris begins investigating the many dead bodies left along the way. Millie realizes that many of the dead bodies were actually Nazis, but still felt the killers deserved to face the legal consequences for their actions. And so Millie puts the Fourth Reich and the Hunters in her crosshairs. Eventually, Millie arrests Meyer for the murder of Richter and refuses to believe his warnings of an elaborate, world-threatening Nazi conspiracy. The Hunters eventually discover the Fourth Reich's plan to sneak a chemical bioweapon into America. Travis then plants a bomb in a New York subway as a distraction. Although the Hunters manage to save the passengers, Murray is unable to disarm the bomb and is killed in the explosion. When the Nazis also bomb a chemical power plant, the entire city of New York suffers a blackout, creating the perfect opportunity for the Fourth Reich to smuggle their weapon into the city. The chemical weapon is a virtually undetected detectable pathogen that lays dormant for six weeks, then kills like a plague, killing all those infected. There was no cure once infected, and the Fourth Reich were using this bioweapon to specifically target inner-city minorities. Following the Fourth Reich attacks and citywide blackout, Millie finally believes Meyer's warnings and releases him from custody, agreeing to help the Hunters. The group uncover the location of the Fourth Reich's bioweapon, and also discover that it can be destroyed by reaching a temperature of 500 degrees. The Hunters infiltrate the bioweapon factory, killing many of its Nazi inhabitants, and successfully blow up the chemicals. Jonah manages to hold Travis at gunpoint, but Millie arrives and convinces him to spare Travis's life and allow the Nazi to be arrested instead. And so the Hunters are seemingly victorious although the colonel manages to escape amongst the chaos. 
As the season comes to a close, Jonah feels that he still needs to prove himself as a hunter, and decides to fully avenge his grandmother Ruth by hunting and killing her Auschwitz tormentor, the Wolf. Using Ruth's old files, Jonah finds the Wolf and delivers him to Meyer, who swiftly kills the Nazi doctor. Unfortunately, Jonah realizes from his grandmother's notes that Meyer had always vowed to say the Kaddish when killing the Wolf, but had failed to do so now. And that's when Jonah realizes that the man he thought was Meyer was in fact fact, the wolf. Meyer confirms this, explaining that he killed the real Meyer and stole his identity after the fall of Auschwitz in order to avoid execution for his crimes. He then had plastic surgery to look like the real Meyer and has lived his life since then as a Jew. After reconnecting with Ruth decades later, this fake Meyer was inspired to join the hunters as a form of penance. Jonah, furious by this revelation, recites the Kaddish and kills the wolf. With Meyer gone, Jonah becomes the new leader of the Hunters. Mindy decides to leave the group while Joe is abducted by the Colonel. After being taken to a secret base in Argentina, Joe discovers that the Colonel's true identity was actually Ava Braun, wife of the still very much alive Adolf Hitler. Now I want to tell you about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you create a website or online store to help engage with your audience and build your brand. I've used Squarespace to build many different websites over the years, and they just helped me launch RecapAndChill.com. I love their video blog features that allow me to display all of my recap videos in a way that fits my style. They've also got great blogging features that make it super easy to write and schedule posts, photos, and videos for your audience. Plus, Squarespace has a built-in mobile web designer, so you can be sure that any web website you build will also look great on a phone or tablet. I truly can't recommend Squarespace enough, so head on over to squarespace.com slash recap and chill for your free trial plus 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, and thanks to you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.